Hi, my name's Chad North of North by North, and today we're going to talk about the top five ways to wear a kerchief to help you stay warm. Okay, so here are our top five ways to wear a kerchief to help you stay warm in the outdoors. First, as I'm doing, as a scarf or what we like to call a military wrap around your neck. So what's important is your brain and your head is the most important part of your body and your body will do everything it can to keep it warm. What you have, you have tons of arteries and veins that run through your neck to supply your brain with blood and help keep it warm. So it's critical to keep these arteries insulated and protected as much as possible from wind but also from chill. So a scarf or what we call military wrap is preferable for doing that because it's going to help seal off and insulate uh, your neck during uh, during activity or during when you're outside in cold conditions. Additionally, what we like about the military wrap is this: how it comes down to triangle point. When it's inside a coat, what that's going to do is it's going to trap that heat that's rising up through your jacket to uh, help seal that heat in a little bit more. Without something like this, that heat just can come out right to the top of your jacket and you can lose all that precious heat that you're generating. So what I like to do is start off with your uh, kerchief in a triangle like this. And then what I do is fold it so you get almost some additional layers of insulation underneath. And then I start here on my chin and leave it on there. And then tie it tightly behind, come underneath. And you can either tie just a simple overhand knot, or if you want to, you can um, take the ends and kind of wrap them up and tuck them in, which you can see in our military wrap video. But by tying it around your chin like that, when you bring it down, it keeps everything nice and tight. And like I said before, you put it inside your jacket, you get a really nice insulated barrier inside your coat to keep all that warm, precious air inside. The number two way is what we like to call the warm hood wrap. And what this provides is protection for your head and neck, which is great for you know when you're sleeping at night, if you're in your sleeping bag, or especially, especially if you're using a quilt or a wool blanket to sleep with. This will help trap, again, that heat around your neck and head. And all you do is simply fold it in a triangle, center it over your head, bring it down so it looks like this, and then just tie it across uh, underneath, and then tie it gently behind. You don't want to choke yourself, obviously. Um, and if you want to, you can kind of twist the ends in a little bit for a tighter seal around your face. But what that provides is uh, heat retention in the back and also in the front and provide almost like a scarf here around uh, your neck. I've used this down to about uh, 32 degrees Fahrenheit, zero degrees Celsius, and I've been able to stay warm with just uh, sleeping in my sleeping quilt. The number three way is the balaclava wrap, and it's very simple to do. You want to start off again with your kerchief in a triangle. And you're going to come over about a third of the way down the kerchief so you have a long end and a short end. The short end is going to come up underneath your chin and you're going to hold it here and you take the long end, wrap it around your face, back around and just uh, tie it off with a square knot and then this extra end you can kind of wrap behind and come up underneath. And then what this is going to do is going to provide warmth for your head. It's going to provide warmth for your neck, and then by adjustability, you can keep your uh, your nose and your mouth uh, covered and protected as well. Or if you want a little extra breathing space or to cool off a little bit, you can pull it off your face to uh, to cool down. All right, the number four way to use a merino wool kerchief to help you stay warm is what we like to call extra insulation. So be, due to its size and shape, you can actually use the kerchief to uh, add an extra layer of insulation to the front of your body, or if you're small enough, maybe all the way around. But uh, for me. Uh, what I'll do is I'll tie it around my neck like this, almost like a, uh, like a barber's apron. And what that does, it again provides insulation for the neck and then it kind of drops down the front. You can do a couple things here. If you're small enough, you can tie it behind your back and have uh, almost like a shirt. Or uh, you know, for us larger guys, you can tuck it into your, your waist pant. And what that does, it provides a layer of protection on the front of your body. So when you're wearing, uh, then put like a coat over top or if you're backpacking or hiking or rucking, having a backpack on your back will provide that insulation back here. So it's really nice. Or if you're sleeping in uh, your sleeping bag or a quilt or a wool blanket, when you're lying on your back, this will provide almost like a blanket over top of you to help keep your core a lot warmer. All right, and our number five, I mean number five way of keeping warm with a merino wool kerchief is as a mitten. Happens to the best of us. You're out hiking and all of a sudden, you, when you go to pull out your gloves, as it gets a little cold, you realize you're missing one. 
Well, the kerchief makes a great substitute for a mitten with our hand wrap. Uh, same thing happens if you lose a sock. You can uh, use this as a uh, foot wrap to help keep your, uh, your foot insulated. So those are our top five ways of using a North by North Marine wool kerchief to help keep you warm outside when the temperature drops. We'll include links below to all the different ways that we discussed in the video, as well as tutorials on actually how to tie them yourself. Thanks so much for joining us today, and we'll see you out there. Stay warm.